Our fire danger will remain very high across our part of the state with dry northerly winds, temperatures upper 90s to near 100 as we head through the next several days. So this is Wednesday, but you can just stamp this right on over into Labor Day weekend as well. Remember, burn bans are all across the area, so no campfires over the weekend as well. Tracking the tropics here, well... We do have two potent systems going on here. Once Franklin, Franklin will go between Bermuda and the United States and just kind of be a fish storm out there, throw some wave action to the east coast of the United States. Then we have Adelia. That one is going to make landfall likely east of Tallahassee and north of Tampa, right there in the Florida Panhandle and the Big Bend region. That will continue to work its way through the southeastern part of the United States, then out into the Atlantic Ocean once again. Above average temperatures for us, we're on the backside of all this, so we have a northerly flow. That's dry air for us and a few clouds from time to time, but nothing that's really going to produce much in the way of rain. Since our heat dome has been a little farther away, we've enjoyed some double digit days. I do think we're going to creep back closer to the triple digits, though. Over the next few days, we'll be close on Wednesday. Same for Thursday, going into Friday, Saturday, Sunday, going into Monday. Again, around 100 degrees. One of these days may be 99. One of these days may be 100, 101. But it's all going to feel about the same, whether we're in the double digits or the triple digits. But at least it's closer to 100 and it's not record highs across our area. As we take a look at rainfall amounts, well, we're not anticipating much around here. By the latter part of the weekend, Maybe an isolated thunderstorm near I-45 down into the Brazos Valley. I've kept it dry for most of central Texas, though, as it doesn't look like it'll be much. Most of it will be over in Louisiana. And then, of course, with Idalia across the southeastern part of the United States. So let's check out what we're tracking for tonight. Temperatures will be in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Then tomorrow, highs close to 100, hopefully staying just shy. That 99 does look better than 100 degrees, but we should be around that on Thursday, 101 Friday, back to around 100 Saturday and Sunday into Labor Day Monday. And keeping it dry for now for the middle part of next week, there are some models that hint that it could get a little wetter around here, but I don't want to get too excited yet as not all models agree on that. So we're going to keep it hot and dry for now.